How's it going guys? I recently quit caffeine for more than 30 days. I went from drinking a nitro cold brew from Starbucks every day, usually a tall but sometimes a grande. That's upwards of 250 milligrams of caffeine and I went down to zilch. And what I did is I vlogged along the way so you can see my experience. So if you're thinking about quitting and wondering if it's worth it, make sure you watch this whole video till the end because I've got some great advice to share with you. All right, day one, guys. Um, to be honest, the morning was pretty tough. I, instead of having coffee, like I usually do first thing in the morning, obviously I had something different. I had lemon water. Just half a lemon squeezed into a glass of water. It really was not the same as having coffee. So um, I had to get out. I had to get out and move, go on a walk, just to take my mind off of it and really wake up. And even then, I felt pretty dull throughout the morning. But luckily today's the 4th of July, right? Independence Day or Independence from Caffeine Day as I'm calling it. So it wasn't so bad, I was busy. We went to a parade and then after the parade we went with some family to go swimming and um, just got back from swimming now. It's almost dinner time, so we're gonna make dinner and then go see some fireworks. So it was actually a pretty busy day, kept me going and I, I think that helped a lot, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. All right guys, it's day two. I got my bull bar out here. I'm training one arm chin ups and a little bit of front levers too after I'm done with this. But um, yeah, I, all I gotta say is like, I did not sleep well last night. It was bad. I slept, well first I had trouble falling asleep for like an hour it felt like. And then I only slept three hours and I woke up. I was awake for what felt like one to two hours and then I fell back asleep again eventually. But I did not get a full night's sleep, no way. That was not a full night. Kind of gloomy feeling, although a little better than yesterday. And I just miss coffee. <laughs> I, you know, lemon water and herbal tea is just not cutting it for me, but I'm gonna just white knuckle it, as my friend says, and um, I'm gonna keep going through this and hopefully it'll get better. All right guys, day three, no caffeine. Uh, the new thing is that I have a headache, and it's like up here above the temples. Now, I don't know if the headache is a result of no caffeine, or I was out in the sun moving furniture all day, helping my brother move, because he's relocating to a new home. So I really don't know what the headache is from, but I'm not taking any painkillers. I'm not the kind of person to, to take pills unless I really absolutely have to. But it's not a bad headache. It's just a minor headache up here. Um, other than that, same old, like uh, the insomnia was still there last night. It took me a good hour, hour and a half to fall asleep, unfortunately. And um, the morning wasn't too bad. Uh, I had to get up and go. I had so much to do today, I didn't even think about coffee. I just grabbed some water and off I went. Um, and life isn't as dull and somber. I'm definitely feeling a little happier, so that's good. But we'll see how things go. Let's see what tomorrow brings. All right guys, day four. Um, I was just shooting a different video for Minus the Gym, so that's why camera's on a tripod and everything. But um, headache is gone, okay? So that was just yesterday on day three. Maybe that was from being out in the heat all day, moving furniture, I really don't know. Um, but head is feeling better. Insomnia is still the same. So unfortunately, I had trouble falling asleep, just a little bit of trouble falling asleep. But then I woke up in the middle of the night for two hours, so definitely not much better. Um, other than that, things are the same. I'm getting used to the new morning ritual, not missing coffee too much, although I admit the smell is tempting still. Um, but here's something new I wanna mention, okay? Constipation is a common withdrawal symptom for caffeine. I'm not constipated, but I will say that number two is less frequent, okay? I'm still going every day, you know, being plant-based and high fruit, you know, high raw kind of diet, I go two or three times a day normally, um, but now it's been like once, maybe twice at most. So it has slowed down. It's like the peristalsis in my digestive system has slowed down or something. So I just want to mention that for anyone who might try this. Um, definitely, uh, it seems like caffeine stimulates the bowels and that might slow down a bit. But other than that, I'm doing okay. We'll see how tomorrow goes. All right guys, day five, no caffeine. 
I'm here in my studio, I'm just messing around with some new lighting I got and figured I'd shoot the vlog real quick. No updates really. I'm still not sleeping through the night, still missing coffee in the mornings, although it is getting easier and I've started juicing, um, so I had some celery juice, that's good. But um, the headache has returned, just a slight headache. It's like barely noticeable, so I don't know what's going on with that. That might be from no caffeine. I just think going forward, I'm not going to shoot these vlog entries unless I have something new to tell you about because I don't want this video to be me complaining for 30 days straight because that would just not be a good video, right? It wouldn't be very informative or fun to watch. So the next update will actually be an update. Day seven, I got nothing new to report, guys. I just want a good night's sleep. That's all I really need at this point. How's it going guys? Day 10, no caffeine. I'm taking a break. It's been a great day. Got a lot done today. Even trained a couple subscribers of mine who came over. That was a lot of fun, hanging out with them and teaching them some basics. Um, basically, I'm sleep is improved. Things are looking up for me, okay? I'm sleeping like six or seven hours straight, typically, which is great, because before I'd sleep like three maybe four and then I'd wake up and I'd have trouble falling back asleep. Um, uh, still a little bit of trouble falling asleep but not as bad as before. So the insomnia is definitely improving. And I feel really calm and just kind of stable mood. You know, it's like before when I was caffeinated, I'd be bouncing all over the place. Uh, my mood might be up and then down and up and down. I kind of crash throughout the day my focus would be all over the place but now my focus is consistent I'm noticing and my mood is more stable and I would say the only thing I'm still kind of struggling with is that my brain feels kind of slow uh, I imagine that's going to improve and a friend of mine who quit coffee he told me that it took him about three weeks to feel kind of normal so yeah things are going good this is only day 10 I still have 20 more days to go so we'll see All right guys, day 13, no caffeine. First thing I should probably mention is you might notice this cut on my forehead. Long story short, a tree branch got me when I was taking down a tree limb, so yeah. Sorry if that's a little distracting, but stuff happens, right? Everything's going great. My sleep is pretty consistently good. I'm sleeping through the night most nights. I'm still, I had a couple nights recently where I did wake up in the middle of the night and you know, had to fall back asleep, it took a little while, but for the most part, sleep is great. So I'm happy about that. Um, energy levels are doing good, and what I've noticed is that if I juice, I'm juicing things like beets and celery and making green juice. If I make just one or two juices, especially in the morning, that really helps me with the energy and the brain fog and any of that kind of gloomy feeling, but that's mostly gone anyways. Um, but it's completely gone as long as I juice. So I want to mention that, that's like a gold nugget that you might want to remember if you decide to quit caffeine. But yeah, another thing I did recently is I changed up my morning routine. So I used to hang out with my wife and we would drink coffee together and that was just too difficult, you know, just smelling the coffee, being around it. So now I get up and move and what I've been doing is taking my dog Dash to the dog park and that's been great. It's just, you know, the weather's been really good so I just get up and go. I take him to the dog park, he gets about 30-40 minutes to run around, I get some exercise too. And yeah, things are going really good, it's only day 13, that's the thing, tomorrow's day 14, so it'll be about two weeks, coming up on two weeks, and I'm already feeling really good. I can't wait to see what weeks three and four are like. Alright guys, day 23, and um, it's a rainy, overcast day, actually raining right now, so no dog park today, kind of stuck inside. So I'm gonna make a green juice. This is called Lemon Ginger Blast. It's a recipe by a health coach named Lou Corona. And this is great if you wanna replace your coffee in the morning with a fresh cold pressed juice that's gonna just really wake you up and, and give you real energy instead of taxing your adrenals. So I'm gonna show you how I make this. All right, let me get this shot here. So I got half a pound of spinach right here. I've got one whole bunch of celery, and I rinsed it the best I could. This is one good handful of flat leaf parsley. You can use any kind of parsley you want. We actually grew this ourselves. This is from our garden. And 
one good handful of cilantro, a big old handful of mint. I love fresh mint. This is one large cucumber with the peel. I'm going to put the peel through the juicer too. We've got jalapeno. I'm probably going to just use about half the jalapeno. I don't want the whole thing. That would be a little too much spice. But a lot of good nutrients in jalapeno and, and lots of spicy hot peppers. This is a peeled lemon. Just one lemon. Um, you don't want the peel. The, the peel would be too bitter, too much. Right, but I leave the pith. The pith has a lot of good nutrition. I've got here two Honeycrisp apples. And lastly, about maybe two inches or so chunk of ginger. And I'm also going to leave the peel on and put that through the juicer. And there you go. That's a lot of stuff, I know. But that's everything going into this lemon ginger blast. So I'm going to put everything through the juicer now and just kind of cut through that because it's going to be a long process and I'll show you the end result. All right guys, this is what the finished product looks like. Look at that beautiful chlorophyll green. So much nutrition in this. You can thin it out with a little bit of water too if it's like got too much kick. You know, I like the spice, but um, if, if you don't like the spice, just leave out jalapeno or habanero, any of those spicy peppers. But even if the ginger has too much kick for you, you can thin it out with water. I didn't do that though. And what's cool about this, um, not only is it like really refreshing and it wakes you up and it gives you energy and it's so much healthier than coffee or any kind of caffeinated beverage, but you get double this, right? That recipe, uh, this is just half of the yield. Like th this was full, I already drank some of it. But here's the other half, right? So I put it in an airtight uh, mason jar. So it's sealed, I filled it to the top. I had to add a little bit of water, but so no oxygen is getting into it because it's sealed airtight and it's filled to the top. And I'm going to put that in the fridge and I'll save it for tomorrow. So now I, I made one batch, but I get two days out of that one batch. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it does take a while, but like this really helps, you know, if you're struggling with like quitting caffeine and, and you know, that morning coffee, try juicing. Don't start with this recipe necessarily if you're a newbie. But just like start with any kind of juice, you know, get yourself a juicer, invest. And what you'll see is that these natural whole foods, these fruits and vegetables, they wake you up so much better and so much more naturally than caffeine ever could. All right, everybody. This is day, let's see, August 8th. And I started July 4th, so it'd be day 35? Yeah, because 31 days in July. So day 35 I'm on, wow, um, I'm late. I was gonna shoot on like day 30 or day 31, but I've just been so busy, I've, I, but that's good, right? It's good to be busy, I like being busy. But here's the deal, guys. I wanna sum this up. I wanna tell you what my entire experience was like, and I wanna tell you, was it worth it? Based on my experience, okay? The first week was pretty bad. As you saw, I did not sleep well, I felt depressed, I felt gloomy. I had a headache that came and went. I was just kind of miserable. Not like too miserable to function, but um, yeah, the withdrawal was real. And it was a, a pretty bad week because there was like this little layer of misery over me the entire first week. Then on the second week, it's when things started to get better. I started to sleep better. Um, I remember still feeling depressed, still feeling kind of gloomy and like my brain was slow. But that second week was getting better. And by the third week, I actually started to feel pretty good. You know, like things were returning back to normal. That third week was when it's like the sun came out finally and the skies weren't overcast. And now here I am and I can tell you guys, um, I think it was definitely worth it. It was tough, but here's the thing. There, there's a lot of benefits I could tell you about, right? I don't get cold hands and feet anymore because that's what caffeine did to me. It made my, my fingers and my toes feel cold for some reason. Um, I don't have those ADD symptoms, like feeling like I can't focus on one thing for a long period of time. I don't feel jittery or anxious at all when I'm talking to crowds of people or, or meeting with a bunch of people, and I actually used to get anxiety, so that's good. It helped my anxiety quite a bit. Um, my skin, I feel like my skin looks a little better, I, you know, more hydrated, but I'll tell you what the best benefits are, in my opinion. There's two really awesome benefits. The first is that I'm sleeping great. My sleep is so deep 
and I'm dreaming like more vivid dreams. And that to me right there is worth it because I wake up feeling rested. Like you don't realize it. Even if you're sleeping eight hours when you're caffeinated, you're probably not getting restful sleep. You're not getting as much deep sleep as you should be. So keep that one in mind. But also when you wake up in the morning feeling so rested, just drink some water and off I go. I start my day, it's, it's fantastic. I don't have this beverage that I have to make just to feel normal, just to get out of that fog and to, to not feel grumpy and crabby. So that's really the best, right? The, the deep sleep, the awesome sleep, and not being dependent on a certain chemical to feel normal. That's definitely why it's worth it, guys. And I have a couple, like I mentioned, a couple gold nuggets, some good advice to tell you guys. I already mentioned one of them in a previous vlog entry, uh, and that's fruits and vegetables, right? Embrace fruits and vegetables. There's something about them. It might be the structured water. It might be all the phytonutrients or the vitamins and minerals. I don't know what it is. But when I eat um, like a fruit salad or drink a juice, which has been my main go-to, it just livens me up. It gives me this energy different from caffeine, right? Because caffeine is taxing your adrenals. Um, but the fruits and vegetables just liven me up and, and make me feel really good. So it helps with the, the feelings of lethargy and, and depression. So if you're suffering from that with your withdrawal symptoms when you quit, just keep that in mind. Even if you don't have a juicer, just eat some fruits and vegetables. They really do help, especially the water-dense ones like melons. You know, if you can get your hands on, on any like really ripe melons or um, grapes are a good one. You know, I've in like celery, vegetables like celery are really water dense and I've been making celery juice. So try that out. But also the other really good advice I can give you guys is keep in mind that I quit from uh, drinking one nitro cold brew from Starbucks, which is like, I think on average 250 milligrams or maybe 200 milligrams of caffeine. And that was about it for my daily consumption somewhere in there. But if you've been consuming more than that, if you've been consuming, say, 500 milligrams or more per day, uh, you might have really rough withdrawals. Like You might not even be functional when you quit. So I would recommend in that case tapering, like lower your usage. If you're drinking multiple cups of coffee per day, you know, try cutting down by one cup at a time or even half a cup at a time and let your brain and body adjust to that before you know, cutting down some more. And then once you get down to like that last cup or that last half a cup, then quit, then quit cold turkey. And I think the withdrawals will be much more manageable if you do it that way. But there you go, guys. I hope this was helpful for you if you're thinking about quitting. And hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, not just to see all my fitness content and all my nutritional content, but also when you tune in in future videos, make sure I'm not holding a coffee because it's my intention to stay off of coffee, to not be addicted to caffeine. I'm still gonna allow myself like, if I wanna put cacao powder in my smoothie, you know, cause I love a chocolate smoothie, um, even kombucha, you know, that I think kombucha has a little bit of caffeine in it. You know, maybe a matcha now and then, but my goal is to not become dependent on coffee or any caffeinated beverages ever again. So tune into future videos, and if you see me holding a coffee or something, leave me a comment that basically is just a virtual slap across the face and say, Ryan, what are you doing, man? After everything you went through, why would you go back to coffee? You know, but hopefully that doesn't happen. All right, I'm going to do my best to stay off. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.